Our machine guns are about to get a whole lot better. A German plane with Anthony Fokker's new sink gear just fell into our hands. The pilot got lost in the fog and landed on our side of the line. Sure hate to be in that Hun's boots when he finally gets back to his CO. Strafing at Verdun this afternoon. It's a routine mission. We reached the front but found few enemy soldiers. Anticipating our run, they dug themselves in deep. We decided to chew up their clustered supply tents in hope of flushing out a few bodies. Casualties on the front are heavier than ever, and French and British air commands aren't fair.
The trains out of Saraburg are becoming a damn nuisance. Their base station is a recruiting point for troops headed to Verdun, as well as a loading depot for... Met my first Russian pilot today. You'd think the Tsar would have his hands full with the Eastern Front, but Russian troops recently landed at Marseille to offer their support. We spotted two balloons, yet before we could open fire, my partner and I were under attack. We'd have to nail the two Fokkers if we wanted a shot at the Fat Boys.
Just read that President Wilson warned Germany not to pursue its policy of unrestricted submarine warfare. It's been almost a year since the Lusitania and nothing's been forgiven. If this war goes on for another year, there's no way the US can stay out of it. Approaching the Nominee Aerodrome, we came upon three hungry foxes. 